Hey guys, welcome back. So, this is a long term review of uh, using this protein skimmer. It's the Aquasu Mora Pro S and it's a hang on back system. So, as you can see, this was set up first when I purchased it for my 29 gallon reef. And uh, as you can see, I also had the Aquasu, no, sorry, the CPR hang on back as well. So, you know, learning the reef hobby initially with uh, the 29 gallon using this product you know it was it was kind of a struggle I'm not gonna lie okay this product uh, it's not the best but it's not the worst either um, there's a few hang on backs that are a little bit better and this is by far better than others um, at the price point mm, give it take from 180 to 235 dollars this unit is Paul well, actually six years when I bought it don't know how much it is now but as you can see this was running on my 29 gallon reef I mean it's it's not a bad setup now this is when my reef matured at the 29 gallon now if you can briefly see I had hair algae a little bit here and there now this is for my 20 gallon extra high um, I also cycled it with it uh, with this with, with protein scammer and it did just fine um, the only thing that I have to say about this skimmer is that it loses performance based on the actual height of the surface of the water so in the six years that I have this this protein skimmer you have to keep that surface water consistent and I mean consistent because if you was to lose a quarter of an inch or if you was to have a wave maker these protein skimmers especially the hang on backs will affect this performance due to height of water I can't stress this enough um, now now that I have this in my and this sump okay um, this sump because of the baffle is 14 inches high that's consistent where it's at it doesn't go any lower it doesn't go any higher and the performance based on this pump, you know, it's not too bad. It's a it's an Aquion pump. I believe it does 425 gallons to the head, and it's not really bad. And I have no issues whatsoever with my reef with this protein skimmer. I would recommend it to anybody, but I would highly suggest that you keep the surface water height consistent, because if not you get a you know the, the foam is not gonna produce as well it's it's gonna be out of whack it'll, it'll seem like if nothing is happening then all of a sudden it starts skimming like crazy um, it is very 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 delicate when it comes to uh, water chemistry though now if you was, let's say you was to be dosing something it goes out of whack real fast and I believe based on my experience between this one and the Reef Octopus 110, it is more sensitive in terms of what dosing, what, what do you dose, uh, the chemicals that you use. Now, as you can see, this is my consistency. After three days, this is what I get. This is right behind the lights, guys. You cannot see through it. I cannot complain about the skimmer. It does work. For what it is, it does work. Um, I didn't put my reef octopus in my cube because I know that one day or another I'm going to set up a new bigger tank and I'm going to reuse the reef octopus 110 so why put it in here to then put the this skimmer back into the system at that point it makes no sense to me so I just keep that in storage when I get a new tank I just put back the reef octopus 110 this skimmer works perfect in this system and I will not change it there's no reason to change it if the pump dies I get another one this pump I mean this skimmer is absolutely fantastic yes is a little pricey for what you get uh, I believe the reef octopus hang on back uh, I believe the model is 1000 1000 H or something like that I, I, it gets better reviews than this actual protein skimmer but then again um, even that one loses performance based on height of the water and if you have wave maker guys it will affect the performance of these uh, hang on back systems 
um, even hang on back refugiums anything hang on back that, re that relies on height of water guys wave makers is one of the issues and believe it or not you have to resolve that you're gonna have to make that decision what do you want you want a wave maker you want an actual uh, pump that's gonna produce waves for you or you just gotta have consistent flow at a certain uh, gallons per hour depending on what kind of system you're running but I cannot stress this enough guys these hang on back systems really rely on consistent consistently consistency of height in terms of uh, the water going and, and working and if you're dosing it's going to be very delicate these, these these skimmers are very delicate versus in some skimmers to certain chemicals um, and the reason being is because when I would when I was dosing and I was using certain chemicals I would notice the reaction more on this skimmer than I ever did on my reef octopus 110 and using the same chemicals in the same amount of chemicals and as you can see this tank I don't suffer from algae nowhere I didn't suffer from algae nowhere in the 55 supposedly give or take this you know the aqua sea uh, claims that this this skimmer is producing it, 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 it it's rated for 120 gallons but to be honest I can never tell you that because the biggest system I put in this skimmer is a 55 with uh, 15 gallon sump so due to displacement of water of rock and everything give it take the biggest volume this skimmer has ever uh, worked for in my experience it's about 60 gallons and that's about half point of what it's rated for could it work on a 75 sure could it work on a 90 sure could it actually work on a 120 possibly if you keep the water consistent and I noticed that a good range is probably about four inches of height from your skimmer I mean from your pump to the surface of the water anyways guys that is my input for this protein skimmer if you like it give it a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed please subscribe more videos to come take care guys peace